Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome to this whiskey review where today I'm going to be reviewing the Royal Salute 21 year old. So I picked up this miniature as I had a full bottle in my house but as you probably know from my other Shivas videos and I'll leave a playlist here, Shivas Regal products in my house go rather quickly so it's difficult to keep a hold of them. So I had to pay £19 for this. I think I got ripped off because it's kind of overpriced. Just saw it for £15 recently. So I actually bought this and then the cork snapped, so you can see there's half a cork and there's still a floater somewhere in here, which I'm not going to bother looking for. Uh, but so we'll pull this one out. It's a 21 year old blended scotch whiskey. I'll leave a little bit in there. It's a 21 year old blended scotch whiskey. Now it's called Royal Salute 21 instead of being called Shivas Regal and I'll explain that to you. So normally when any powerful dignitaries come to the UK, there is a mark of respect which is given as a 21 gun salute and they name this after the whiskey so everything in here has to be a minimum of 21 years old. A lot of these stocks for this whiskey are actually matured in the Shathila distillery in Scotland and they're kept in the warehouse until they get to 21 years old and then they're used for the Royal Salute whiskey. It is 40% bottled at so it's not anything like 43 or above and in terms of this one they actually launched this whiskey on the 2nd of June 1953, if memory serves me well, as a tribute to Queen Elizabeth II on her royal coronation day. So it was very well known and it was paid as a tribute to the Queen. So the actual parent company that owned this are Pernod Ricard and uh, also known as Shivas Brothers. And the price point on a full size bottle of this one is 110 to 120 pounds here in the UK. Now, in terms of exclusivity, it's not exclusive, but some of you will be saying to me, Jason, I've seen red ones of these, I've seen blue, and now you're showing me a green one. The reason behind that is the actual Royal Salute 21 has three different flagons in the actual range, and these are the different bottles. Nothing to do with the liquid. However, I will speak about something at the end related to that. So there is three color flagons. One is the Sapphire Blue, which you'll see, then you've got the actual red ruby, and then you've got the green emerald. And these are actually to resemble the actual crowns, uh, the jewels on the crown. So you'll actually see that actually, if you actually order a case, a big box of these, uh, normally you'll get six bottles. Three will normally always be sapphires, two will be rubies, and one will always be an emerald to show the rarity of each one. So normally, if you ever find an emerald, they're a little bit more rarer than the ruby or than the sapphire. So that's a little bit of information for you guys because I actually used to have cases of this stuff when I used to get into it. And then I was like, oh, there's a trend going on. Maybe they just want to keep sending the same stuff. And then I realized it. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the tasting notes in this one, into the nose. The nose, the aromas that I'm getting straight away from the first nosing, it's much more softer. It's a bit more mellow compared to the 18 and even the 12 from the Shivas portfolio. Those 21 years are definitely showing themselves as they're a bit more mature and they're not giving off these sort of sharper characters. Green apples, pears, even green grapes, which is very interesting. A little bit of dry fruit going on. I'm getting almost like white fruit. A bit of sultanas as well. Apricots. Interesting one. Dried pineapple cubes, which I've been eating a lot from the health shops. And then it develops a slight floral character. And a bit of honey as well. But it does have this like a malty, but at the same time like grassy, like a hay, like a really dry grass character really following itself through. That's about it. I'm getting that vanilla fudge as well, even on the 21 Royal Salute. This time on the nose. Wow. Let's just jump straight into the palette next. Slanger. To begin things now on the palette for the Royal Salute 21, you're greeted by like a medium texture. It's got a little bit of a buttery character. But the viscosity, I was expecting a little bit more richer and fuller, whereas I'm still getting the same texture as the 18. Now, straight away off the flavors, I'm getting this like candy ginger, adding a sweeter, but that mouthwarming presence with a little bit of honey pepper, where I'm getting a burst of spice, but it's sort of masked and sort of rounded out by a sweetness, whereas if it, you really want it to show, but then it's just completely just rounded out and you're getting a nice sweeter profile on the palate. I then sort of follow that one up with a little bit of a slight, almost like a dark chocolatey, bitter character. And then this leads into now almost like a tarty character, which is very interesting. It's not a heavy dark chocolate, it's quite a light, maybe 70%, 60% dark chocolate, 
But now I'm getting like a Bramley apple sauce. These dried pineapple cubes again, they just seem to be following me all over as you get older into this sort of the 18 of Shivas and then the Royal Salute 21. And a little bit more of those malty now. It's a bit chewier now. It still has that vanilla oak presence, which remind, remains on this one. But then just on the end, it develops a little bit more of a citrus profile. And this is like almost like a lime, but like a candied lime peel, giving you that sweetness, but at the same time, that nice citrus about it. I'm still getting that vanilla fudge, which is very interesting. Let's just jump straight into the finish and I'll come to my conclusion. So overall opinions on the finish of this whiskey. So I'm gonna leave that over here. Overall opinions, I feel the finish is a short, medium finish. I do get this sort of peach character coming through with that vanilla fudge, a little bit of toffee complementing it, and sort of rounded out by a nice floral balance in the middle of it. But overall, when it comes to the actual overall rating, I'm gonna give this one over here an 87 out of 100. Reason being, if I'm looking at this whiskey, I'm paying double than what I would pay for the 18 year old Shivas. And for me, this has got a really nice balance of flavors. It's got some really nice characters coming through, that vanilla fudge, which I seem to find consistently throughout. And it's got this nice sort of interlock woven of flavors where you're getting these little bit of spices, a little bit of dried fruits. But for me, I really think this whiskey needs a higher ABV. The letdown is at 40%. For 21 year old whiskey, it feels very tame and you want a little bit more oomph, a little bit more character. I think 43%, 46%, wouldn't hurt this at all, as you'd be really just getting to get a little bit more out of your whiskey. In terms of do I think it's value for money, I definitely think it's maybe 30 to 40 pounds more than what I'd like to pay. I think around about 80 pounds would be great. 110, 120 is kind of pushing it, and that's one thing that sort of phases me out from going and buying another bottle. And one thing I wanted to talk about a lot, and that's why the trainings at 87, is I have tasted it over the last two years. When I tasted it back then, and I tried the Sapphire Flagon, I tried the Ruby, I tried the Emerald, even trying it as miniatures throughout the time, I have seen batch variations. And I have seen some come out a little bit salty, some come out really buttery and nice, and really vanilla -y characters, rounded and creamy. And then some just fall apart. And that's one thing that's really bugged me, and I just wish there remained this consistency. So... Hopefully down the line, Shivas can sort of figure out exactly what they've done with different releases and maybe see a trend in a better direction because for me, I felt this one just seems to lack what I was looking for in this whiskey. So, Royal Salute 21 is getting an 87 out of 100. When I compare it, and that's comparing it to the 18 and the 12 and I'm kind of doing like a vertical so you guys get to see everything. So actually a horizontal, so you guys get to see everything in a proper eyesight and understand whether it's even value for money, which I think... It's a little bit priced a bit too high, but that's my my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinion down below in the comment section. Do you like this whiskey? And do you think it's worth its value and money? Let me know your comments down below. But if you have enjoyed the video, drop it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button there if you are new. And be sure to hit some other videos on screen, which I'll leave so you can go and check them out. This has been me, Jason Whiskey Wise, Mr. Bananas, and we're gonna catch you for the next video. Slanger.